We recently returned from the 24th session of the Assembly of the African Union held on the 30th and 31st January 2015 in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, under the theme Year of Women Empowerment and Development Towards African Agenda 2063. His Excellency President Robert Mugabe was elected to chair the African Union for the year 2015. The summit also considered the state of peace and security on the continent, the escalation in international terrorism, as well as Agenda 2063 and its 10-year action plan. Africa Agenda 2063 is a shared uh, strategic framework for inclusive growth and sustainable development on our continent. It envisions that in 50 years, Africa will be a world leader, setting standards for inclusive economic development, democratic governance, and humane and just social order. Some of the decisions taken at the AU summit include the following. On Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, the summit adopted framework document and the popular vision on Agenda 2063. The AU Commission was requested to conclude all consultations in order to finalize the first 10-year plan and to submit this for adoption by the June-July 2015 summit. The Executive Council took note of developments and progress on the flagship projects as requested uh, the Commission to present the detailed uh, roadmaps for implementation with particular focus on the following points. The integrated high-speed train networks, the creation of continental free trade area by 2017, the African passport and free movement of people, the implementation of the Grand Inga hydroelectricity dam projects, the Pan-African e-network, and African virtual and e-university. The establishment of an annual African forum for policy dialogue, formulation of a commodities strategy, implementation of the Yamasukru decision on the unification of the airspace by 2017. In fact, almost 12 countries rose on the floor of the summit and made a public commitment to this uh, Yamasukru uh, uh, decision. There was also emphasis on silencing the guns by 2020 if we were to achieve all these uh, noble goals of Agenda 2063. And lastly, developing a space program for Africa. On the status of the Ebola virus outbreak on our continent. By the time we left Addis, there was a slogan that goes, uh, Ebola virus used to chase our people. We are now chasing the virus. That we are making notable progress. The Assembly urged member states to continue their assistance to the countries affected by Ebola. The Assembly recommended the extension of the mandate of the African Union support to the Ebola outbreak in West Africa or ASEWA, called upon member states who have not yet done so to lift all restrictions imposed on Ebola-affected countries, requested the international financial institutions and partner countries to cancel debt on the three affected countries, mainly Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. The summit approved the recommendation to urgently convene a global conference on the Ebola epidemic, uh, requested and appealed to the scientific community to accelerate uh, research for vaccine against Ebola. The agency of the establishment of the African Center for uh, Disease Control 
and prevention was re-emphasized as a result of this epidemic. On the report of the Conference of Ministers of Finance and Economy on the alternative sources of financing or funding of uh, the AU, the African Union uh, Assembly was, uh, had agreed that countries' assessed contributions will need to be adapted according to GDPs of member states. Uh, informed by the suggested alternatives, it was decided that domestic sources of funding will be the prerogative of each member state according to their own financial structures. On the situation in the Republic of South Sudan, the parties were urged to recommit to an unconditional end of hostilities as provided by the cessation of hostilities agreement and to conclude consultations on our trendy matters with a focus on establishment uh, and structure of transitional government of national unity. We also noted progress in the implementation of the peace framework agreement uh, and appreciate and continue to appreciate the work done by MINUSCO and its FIB in the Democratic Republic of Congo. On the terrorism or the scourge of terrorism on our continent, the Boko Haram uh, terrorist group, the AU reiterated its solidarity with the government of Nigeria and the neighboring countries, or in particular the countries in the uh, Chad uh, Basin. The United Nations Security Council was urged to endorse the deployment of the multinational task force for an uh, initial 12 months. The Assembly also authorized the establishment of a trust fund by the United Nations Secretary General to sustain the operations of the multinational joint task force uh, and the international community was called upon to provide support for this joint task force. The Assembly also considered uh, reports by the NEPOT heads of uh, states and government uh, and orientation committee uh, that the committee of 10 on the reforms of the Security Council also need to also put speed or focus on moving forward as far as this matter is concerned. On the C10 report, the Assembly reiterated its call for Africa to continue to speak with one voice through its common position on all issues relating to UN Security Council and reform of related matters, and underscored the overriding need to ensure that the interest of Africa continues to be maintained and safeguarded at all times in the ongoing intergovernmental negotiations on Security Council reforms. Let me hasten to highlight that on NEPAD, Heads of State, Government and Orientation Committee, the committee received the report, very uh, inspiring report of the uh, Presidential Infrastructure Coordinating Initiative led by President Zuma, and we will share with you the details of all the uh, projects that are underway and we are making significant progress in that regard. President Zuma was also requested by his peers to chair the 22nd African Peer Review Mechanism Forum Summit. The January uh, 2015 APRM, or African Peer Review uh, Mechanism meetings reported progress made on the Malawi decisions to address institutional challenges uh, and integration. Cote d'Ivoire was the latest uh, uh, country to accede to the MOU on the APRM and to become the 35th member of the APRM. Kenya was appointed as the new vice chair of the APRM forum, as well as the appointment of two uh, new panel members one from South Africa, uh, Mr. Bridget Mabandla, our former Minister of Justice, and Chief uh, Mrs. Chinyere Asika of Nigeria. The incoming panel members respectively replace Ms. Baleka Mbete, who is uh, our current speaker of uh, the South Africa's National Assembly, and Ambassador Okon 
Oya, who passed away from Nigeria in April 2014. Honorable Mabandla is the current chairperson of the National Orders uh, Adversary Council of South Africa. The summit decided that South Africa will host, as I said earlier on, the media summit and its related meetings.